Percipteris is one of the most distinctive seed fern leaves of the Triassic, and its importance comes from a unique combination of features that often mislead beginners into thinking they are looking at an early angiosperm. The leaves are thick, firm, and sometimes show a subtle widening toward the tip, which gives them a surprisingly modern outline. But Pachypteris is not related to flowering plants at all. It belongs to the seed fern lineage, a completely separate branch that flourished long before angiosperms appeared. The confusion arises because Pachypteris developed complex venation, cuticle patterns, and leaf textures that superficially resemble certain early angiosperm leaves. Even though the evolutionary pathways are unrelated, this resemblance makes the fossil a powerful example of convergent evolution in plant history. Pachypteris was widespread across Triassic landscapes, especially in regions dominated by warm, seasonal climates, and its presence helps researchers identify environments that supported diverse gymnosperm and seed fern communities. For students, it serves as a clear reminder that angiosperm-like leaf shapes can evolve long before true flowering plants, and that leaf similarity alone can never be used to place a fossil in the right group. Pachypteris stands out precisely because it challenges our assumptions about what ancient plants should look like.